Besides, the king's name is the Tower of Strength. Let's want no discipline, make no delay, for lords, tomorrow is a busy day. The weary sun has made a golden set. By the bright track of his fiery car, gives signal of a goodly day tomorrow. <coughs> Where is Lord Stanley quartered? Dost thou know? About half a mile at least, south from the mighty power of the king. If without peril it be possible, good Captain Blunt, bear him my good night, and give him from me this most needful scroll. Upon my life, I'll undertake it. And so, God give your grace a quiet rest tonight. Good night, good Captain Blunt. Come, gentlemen, let us consult upon tomorrow's business. What is the clock? It is supper time, my lord. I will not sup tonight. Is all my armor laid into my tent? It is, my liege, and all things are in readiness. Send out a pursuivant at arms to stand his regiment. Bid him bring his power before sun rising, lest his son George fall into the blind cave of eternal night. Fill me a bowl of wine. I have not that alacrity of spirit a cheer of mind that I was wont to have. Leave me. O oh, thou, whose captain I account thyself, look on my forces with a gracious eye. Put in their hands thy bruising irons of wrath, that they may crush down with a heavy fall the usurping helmets of our adversaries. Make us thy ministers of chastisement, that we may praise thee in the victory. To thee I commend my watchful soul, ere I let fall the windows of mine eyes. Sleeping and waking, defend me still. The last was I that helped thee to the crown. The last was I that felt thy tyranny. Fainting, despair, despairing, yield thy breath. God and his angels fight on Richmond's side, and Richard falls in height of all his pride. Let me sit heavy on thy soul tomorrow. Despair, therefore, die. Be cheerful, Richmond. The wrong its souls of butchered princes fight in thy behalf. Think on Lord Hastings' beast, the spare and dark. Quiet, untroubled soul, awake. Awake! Arm, fight, and conquer, for fair England's sake. <coughs> Dream on thy cousin smothered in a tower. Thy nephew's souls bid thee despair and die. Sleep, Richard. Sleep in peace and wake in joy. Richard, thy wife, that wretched Anne, thy wife that never slept a waking hour with thee, now fills thy sleep with perturbations. Tomorrow, in the battle, think on me. Unfold thy edgeless sword, despair and die. Thou quiet soul, sleep thou quiet sleep, dream of success and happy victory. Give me another horse! Give me another horse! Why is that my wounds? Have mercy, Jesu! Soft. I did the dream. Oh. Oh, coward conscience, how dost thou afflict me? What do I fear? Myself? There's none else by. Is there a murderer here? No. Yes, I am. Fool! I myself speak well. Fool, do not flatter. My conscience has a thousand several tongues, and everyone condemns me for a villain. And if I die, no soul shall pity me. Nay, wherefore should they? 
Since that I myself find in myself no pity to myself. My lord! Zeus! Who is here? Catesby, my lord. Your friends are up and buckle on their armor. Oh, Catesby, I fear. I fear. I have dreamt a fearful dream. What thinkest thou? Will our friends prove all true? No doubt, my lord. Catesby, I fear, I fear. Oh, nay, good, my lord. Be not afraid of shadows. By the Apostle Paul, shadows tonight have struck more terror to the soul of Richard than can the substance of ten thousand soldiers. Come! Go with me. Come Richmond! How you slept, my lord! The sweetest dreams and fairest boding dreams of eyes since your departure had, my lord. Methought their souls, whose bodies Richard murdered, came to my tent and cried on victory. How far into the morning is it, lords? Upon the hour of four. Why then, tis time to arm and give direction. In the name of God and all these rights, advance your standards. Draw your willing swords, sound drums and trumpets bold and cheerfully. God and St. George, Richmond and victory! <laughs> Who saw the sun today? Not I, my lord. Then he disdains to shut. For by the book, he should have braved the eastern hour ago. A black day will it be to somebody. Takes me! not shine today. Why, what is that to me more than to Richmond? For the self-same heaven that frowns on me looks sadly upon him. Arm, arm, my lord, the foe vaunts in the field. Come, bustle, bustle, caparison my horse. Call up Lord Stanley, bid him bring his power. Let not our babbling dreams affright our souls. Conscience is but a word that cowards use. Frame that the first to keep the strong in awe. March on, join bravely. Let us do it pell-mell. If not to heaven, then hand in hand to hell. Hey! What says Lord Stanley? Will he bring his power? My lord, he doth deny to come. Off with his son George's head. My lord, the, the enemy is past the mast. After the battle, let George Stanley die. A thousand hearts are great within my bosom. Advance our standards, set upon our foes. Upon them, victory sits on our head! <laughs> <laughs> rescue, my lord of Nova! Rescue, rescue! The king it acts more wonders than a man. His horse is slain, and all on foot he fights, seeking for Richmond in the throat of death. Oh, oh! My kingdom for a horse. Betrothal, my lord, I'll help you to a horse. I think there'll be six Richmonds in the field. Five have I slain today instead of him. Ah! Ah! 